Hello, hello. Welcome to Hippo Dad. So, the long way to Sonic the Hedgehog movie finally released this weekend. And despite most people's fears, the movie actually seems to have turned out okay. Sonic holds a special place in my hippo heart. I was only eight years old. My parents gave me a Sega Genesis in my first Sonic game. I had Sonic toys, plush dolls, Sonic coloring books, you name it. I watched all of his animated TV shows. There was the silly one. But if someone tries to touch you in a place or in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable, that's no good. There was the music themed one. Then there was the serious one with the badass theme song. Sonic, he can really move. Sonic, he's got an attitude. Sonic, he's the fastest thing alive. He's the fastest thing alive. He's the fastest thing alive. <laughs> Sorry. Needless to say, I was a super Sonic fan. One could even say my childhood love for Sonic bordered on obsession. Today I thought we would do something a little special to commemorate the Blue Blur's first outing to the big screen. I asked other Sonic maniacs from around the web to send their best artwork to help celebrate this momentous occasion. Let's jump right on in. Our first submission comes from 8-year-old Ryan in Janesville, Wisconsin. Oh, that's a cute one. Yes, Ryan, Sonic is certainly fast. You know, Sonic actually has to wear special shoes to account for all of the friction created when he runs. Normal shoes would probably catch fire in seconds. Moving on, our next submission comes from 7-year-old Jacob in Rockford, Illinois. Let's see what you got for us, Jacob. Oh, uh, wow. Um, that's a pretty good drawing. Sonic's very round. There is a lot of detail around the face area. You definitely have talent, Jacob. A bit into the uncanny valley territory. But, yeah, th thanks, Jacob. I'm sure Sonic would love it. Next up, we have a piece from 9-year-old Madison in Beckley, West Virginia. Oh, um, okay. Interesting choice, Madison. Here we can we can see that Madison combined her love of ponies and her love for Sonic. I'm definitely getting some Full Metal Alchemist vibes here, but art is art, I suppose. I do like how you use Sonic's head to dot the eye. I also like that you decided to give him a little tattoo of his face right on his rear end. That way, if someone is looking at the horse Sonic from behind, they won't get too confused and wonder what they're looking at. Not gonna lie, Madison, that one was a little strange. You know what, though? Who am I to question a child's imagination? Moving right along, our next piece comes from across the pond. 11-year-old Ricky in Melbourne, Australia sent us our next piece of Sonic fan art. Let's take a gander. Oh, um, alright. Ricky decided to draw Sonic as a spider. I do not recall this ever happening in any of his previous adventures. That's an interesting drawing, Ricky. While Sonic as a spider is sure to give me nightmares, I do appreciate that you added those little lines in that whoosh sound to give us the impression of speed. If we know Sonic is about anything, it's speed. I guess, I guess he's just a really fast spider now. Anyway, 12-year-old Becky from Sacramento, California sends us our next piece. Let's take a... Oh, well, that is definitely something that's happening. This is not something I ever encountered when playing the Sega Genesis. I do not really like how Sonic is looking at me here. I'm not sure why Becky decided to give Sonic such long and feminine legs, but hey, that's, that's her journey. I'm not one to question another person's artistic expression. Moving along quickly, our next submission comes from 10-year-old Caleb in Santa Fe, New Mexico. What do you got for us today, Caleb? Oh shit, what the hell? That's an interesting direction you've gone in, Caleb. It looks like he combined his love of Sonic and My Little Ponies. Not gonna lie, I feel like Knuckles in this picture. I don't really like how Sonic is looking at me. It's like he wants me to watch. At least I know where that pony Sonic comes from. Glad I, glad I can connect those pieces. Let's just move on. Our next piece comes from 14-year-old Kyle in Vancouver. Alright, what the fuck? Did Sonic eat Chris Christie? I don't think I can get behind this piece, Kyle. Sonic is supposed to be fast. Fat Sonic here looks about as quick as type 2 diabetes. I feel like with every submission, we're drifting further and further away from God's light. Ugh. Okay, moving on. Hopefully our next submission from 9-year-old Danny can help get things back on track. Oh, wow, wow. Nope, what the fuck, Danny? Did anybody bother to screen these? 
Hold on. Look, I'm trying to do a wholesome episode for once, and this is the shit you guys give me? Of course it's not okay. It says right in the picture that he's fucking 15. What 15-year-old wears diapers? No, 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 no. You guys did this. You turned this into a weird sex thing. I just wanted to take a trip down Nostalgia Lane. Were these really submitted by children, or did you find this shit on 4chan? Oh God, please stop crying. Okay, okay. I know you guys are trying. Just please don't send me out there with any more weird shit. Please. Thank you. Okay, got that sorted. Danny, Sonic doesn't wear diapers. Tell your parents that you need to see a therapist before you grow up to be a sex offender. Moving the fuck along. Our next submission comes from 11-year-old Katie from Furcadia. Isn't that in Oregon? Guys, what the fuck did I just say? What do you mean you can't see what's wrong with this one? He has a fucking furry strapped to his bare foot. This is more fetish bullshit. Look how excited he is. I refuse to believe this was done by an 11-year-old girl. Get that bullshit off my hippo TV. God. Fuck. Oh. You guys didn't even wait. Oh, God. Fuck. Why? The person that made this walks among us. They could be living next to you right now. What just God would allow this to happen? Look me in the eyes and tell me you screened that fucking picture. You're a liar. Yes, I called you a liar, motherfucker. I bet you drew that shit. Please don't show any more pictures. I know this is just going to go downhill from here. There it is. There it is. I just wanted some wholesome content. What part of this is wholesome? What part of this is cute? Sonic looks like a pedophile wearing a gimp suit. Amy is pregnant. She's fucking eating Sally, you guys. God damn. Guys, I'm taking my son to see Sonic tomorrow. Why would you put this here? Why would you subject me to this? How am I supposed to enjoy Jim Carrey with this burn into my hippocampus? If a picture is normally worth a thousand words, then this one is worth a million. First off, fucking 9-11. Do kids these days even know what 9-11 was? Why the fuck is Goku's granddaughter pregnant? Is that... That's another My Little Pony. God, bronies ruin everything. Turning mistakes into miracles. Turning mistakes into miracles. <sighs> this whole video was a mistake. Everything is a mistake. Jesus Christ. Well, guys, I was told before this started there were 12 entries. That seems to be the last one. The winner for best piece goes to Ryan. Thank you, Ryan, for making a picture that won't give me PTSD. You win nothing. There is nothing. All of you deserve nothing. Well, that about wraps things up, thank God. Be sure... What do you mean there's a last-minute entry? I don't care. Don't put that shit up on my... Okay. Sure. Why the fuck not? Sonic's a toilet now, and Shadow is the tank, complete with a flusher nipple. Looks like that furry's about to take a giant shit in Sonic's mouth. Fan-fucking-tastic. I bet this was early concept art for Sonic Forces. Well, there goes my childhood. Fuck it, Paramount should have just made this the new redesign. There you go. Oh yeah, Jim Carrey thinks vaccines cause autism. Thanks for the measles, Jim. Have fun at the movies, everyone. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to click on the icon on the right to subscribe to the channel. Feel free to leave a comment below. Click on the TV to continue watching more Hippo Dad. Till next time.